How you doing? We are back. Welcome back to Mexico. I've been doing a wake and bake for a minute, mostly because well, I've been out of Mexican weed. I think most people kind of imagine marijuana in Mexico, kind of like the movie Blow. Where they look all over, ask a bunch of people. And some guy walks up to you that speaks perfect English. Hey bro, you looking for some mota? That's exactly how it is. <clears throat> I am back. Today's video about PCR testing. What most people don't know is most of the countries out there you could go to. Not easy in some cases because the routes are mostly gone. However, February 15th really kicked off a bunch of flight routes or ring staying the flight routes have been gone for like two years I mean really like you can only fly to maybe Vietnam three days a week from the United States maybe and then I mean you could go other ways but that's part of the problem It'd take you 40 hours to get there you're gonna have to look at the ocean Hold on, I have to light this bad boy in the wind. It's been raining out here, so the sand's really nice. It's a little thicker than normal, not so, not so soft and warm. <laughs> Hold on here, go look over there. I tell you, it don't look like it's gonna happen with that. Too windy. But uh, it looks like the PCR testing is on its way out in a big way. And, and I mean, maybe every day another country is dropping the testing because that's the main issue. It's the main issue. You gotta test 48 hours before you fly. 72 hours some places carry insurance which a lot of people don't and if you don't think it can happen to you it can happen to you I haven't I've been to the doctor I've been pretty sick haven't been in the emergency room in a dire emergency however I have many friends who have including one he it was kind of scary maybe he was dealing with some bleeding lung issue from <clears throat> smoking too much Vietnamese Molta. It's not called Molta there. I don't know what weed is in Vietnamese. But you know the one I'm after. I'm not as motivated to go to any other country as I am to uh, go to Hanoi. I want to see more of Vietnam and visit this place. I could never pronounce the name of this city. There's no way. I'm watching for the police here. Don't kid yourself. They, they have literally rolled up on their ATVs like right in front of me <clears throat> with uh, of course multi in my hands now yeah. my visa is up in like seven and a half weeks here it's gone quickly 180 days has gone too quickly I may have to do 
a visa run. I, I mean, that's kind of the part in Mexico, the people that go to Baja. I mean, this is a visa-free zone, and there are a lot of people going without the visa situation. And you go to Asia and you play that shit. One, you're going to pay to get out. Two, you could be deported. Um, they will troll the clubs and everything in Thailand looking for you. Actually, even um, Airbnbs, motels will not rent to you because they'll want a copy of your um, passport or may even want to hold on to your passport, which I definitely do not recommend, mostly because it seems like that's the thing you forget to get back when you're standing in the airport. I have no idea how the quality of this video is going to come out. Anyway, there's a couple links up here. Please click them. Have a wonderful hump day.